Hello everybody, it's Wednesday, the 27th of April 2016 and it's hailstone in again uh, with a bit of snow <sighs> What next? Hello everybody 28th of April 2016 What the bloody hell is going on? Even the birds are flying away. They've had enough. Hello everybody, it's Saturday the 30th of April 2016 and there is a sun after all and blue skies. Has been a bit uh, rainy and hail stoned again today, but I'm led to believe it's going to warm up. So, anyway, I've got a little experiment I want to try with you and I'll show you even. And let's get started. To blue. Hi, everybody. It's uh, nice to be back again. Just wanted to do a, a little short video um, on something I've decided to give a go. And I'm going to try to grow some ginger this year. Um, I've just been reading up about it. I know it's best in really, really hot climates. And <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm going to give it a go. So I'm going to run through these. I've got a couple of pieces of ginger. Yeah, shop, you can use shop bought, uh, apparently. And like this bud, we have to look for the eyes. Um, on, on the girl, on the ginger, sorry, um, for when they start growing. Now, these apparently go in about two or three inches down into some well drained uh, soil, uh, compost even, and you can. I'm going to mix it with, I'm going to mix my compost with a bit of sodium compost, and you can either use vermiculite or perlite if you wish. So I'm going to be using this tub, it's about 15 inches, about a 15 inch tub, yeah, maybe, yeah, about 15 inches, apparently not too deep, but I don't think it really matters, you know, it's just an experiment, I like to experiment, um, yeah, yeah, so I'm going to give this a try, so in order to, what, what is recommended, because I've been looking at different YouTube channels, is if you get the, um, the, the brown ginger that you know it's it's uh, hardened off and everything is to give it a soaking um, for for a few days uh, for a few days for a few hours or about 24 hours so that was put in yesterday so I'm going to be putting this out and I'm going to start it off indoors and then when it gets absolutely boiling hot ha again um, I'm going to shove it in the in the shed because apparently it's, it's it likes a humid kind of environment. So we're going to give that a go. Okay, so to blue for now. Well, hi again, everybody. Um, I've mixed up the the compost and the potting soil. Um, I've put some. I've got. I had some vermiculite and some perlite, so that's gone in. And what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm just going to put these in. So I'm going to keep them, I'm not going to split them, I'm going to keep the th three eyes on this one. About two inches or so down. And then I'm going to give it a watering. Not one in there. I'm going to give it a good watering. But I'm going to, like I say, start these off indoors. I've not actually filled it to the top either. Um, I've, I've left a, a couple of, couple of inches. Uh, apparently that's a good thing. So... Yeah, well, let's give it a go, you never know, and we might have some ginger by the end of the year. Too blue. Well, again, everybody, on this lovely Saturday, the 30th of April, 2016, let's give you a bit of a rundown what's going on. Um, it looks like I've had to put these, well, uh, what's happened, I've put these indoors for the past week, and I've just, as it's supposed to be warming up, I've thought I'd bring them out. Uh, for a bit of fresh air and a bit of a watering so some of these as you know haven't got labels on because they came off until I decided to put the plastic ones on but hey oh well, the Ola that survived that's coming up lovely the other finger is coming up nicely the roosters are doing really well 
the roosters. It was in 10th of the 4th, they're doing really well. The second roosters are doing really well. And the King Eddies are doing nothing. Um, they are big pots now. Got these are the King Eddies again, nothing coming through. The sapholes from last year, um, I may not be able to see that, but they're actually showing now. Yes, they are coming through. So hopefully we'll have something there. And then we've got this other big fella. That's a golden wonder, and these about these are breaking through now, which is fabulous. Nothing in the a big Toby jug yet, as of yet. And these strawberries. I got these from an allotment. Um, I went to speak to a couple of the lads up there and I was having a chat with one of them in particular. Excuse me. My name's Gary. Dead nice fella. And I gave him some seed potatoes and in return he gave me some strawberry plants. So I'm well pleased with them. And looking quite healthy. He was right underneath here when I first got them. They've really shot up well. Put the old uh, slug tape there just in case. And yeah, we were talking about uh, allotments like. Um, going back to Nora and Brian, um, when Nora, Nora was actually saying about the commitment people have when they when they get an allotment uh, and all lack of, and this is one of the reasons why I'm doing this. You know, me and a good lady doing this, me and Karen are doing it. It's because we we start in small. You know, we do things in pots first. Um, uh, some oil there. Something we're doing nice. Just do things in pots first, start small, you know, and when the time's right, then go for the allotment, don't rush it, because, you know, people just see the, the, the rich pickings at the end of it and don't realise just how much hard work, I mean, for crying out loud, I mean, we only do a little bit in the backyard, in, in pots, and it's hard work, so, you know, you've got to start small, you know, as Nora would say, little and often, and that's what we're doing. Anyway, an unknown soldier, that's doing well, um... Labels fell off this damn thing again. Uh, think, yeah, the all off. That one's okay. What's this one? Labels fell off that one. Excellent. The onions are doing pretty poor. This weather's been horrendous, as we know. We've all suffered from uh, top to bottom of the of the country. And yeah, little uh, as with uh, Joan. But Mrs. Dahl's garden, the same thing's happening to mine now. Yeah, my garlic is starting to curl and yellow. I just hope they're okay. We'll have to see how they go. Lilies are doing fine. But yeah, anyway, so that's a bit of a roundup at the moment. And some, oh yeah, planted out some, planted out some radishes. And they're far away. I know they're a bit close together, but you know, they come up within a month anyway, so why not? See how they go, and we can do some more. So that's about it really on this quick round up on, on what have you. It's starting to, things are starting to pop up now, you know. And uh, the weather hopefully will get better. And just a little note and a thank you to all the people that have, have stepped by, stopped by and, and said hello and give me loads of encouragement and loads of advice. I can't thank you enough, yeah. Uh, and I'm getting a special shout out to, to Dan at Home Gardens, you know, and yeah, we're, we're all busy doing what we do and everything, and it's difficult to get back at times, but, you know, it's a lovely community, and to be honest with you, some of the stuff that we see um, on, on, on the YouTube channels and everything is a lot better than what we see on television. And, and also, as well, a nice shout-out to Raf um, and uh, to Ryan. Uh, just thank you all for your support. It's absolutely well appreciated, and I can't thank you enough. So... Until next time everybody, toodaloo and take care.